Tifu by confessing to my ex. This happened yesterday. A quick background, I have this ex GF, we dated back in college 10 years ago but parted ways after college because of her career. We remained cordial and every once in a while, during holidays, we would cross paths in our small hometown. This holiday we crossed paths again, the last time was 3 years ago and I invited her for coffee for old times sake. Everything went exceedingly well, we're both single and this is where the FU started, unexpectedly, my old feelings resurfaced and just like that, I was smitten by this now more matured and independent version of my ex. Our coffee date was cut short since she needed to be somewhere but we were texting again. By this time my vacation was running to an end and I'm feeling really down and emotional so last night comes the real FU by pulling a classic schmozby by texting texting her along the lines of, I'm liking her again but I know I shouldn't. This is of course badly worded and I sound, and am, desperate and pathetic. Her response was a cool can of well deserved ghosting. Today I'm back at work, deprived of sleep, unable to do a damn thing and the feeling of shame, remorse and regret is all consuming. This is now my top cringe memory that I will probably relive for years to come. What better way to start the decade A? Eh? TL, doctor, bumped into X of decade ago, confessed my feelings after one date, was ghosted and now feeling emo. Keep your head up up. Feelings are a bitch. Take the time to recognize that there's more to your life than this, and slowly but surely you'll start to move past it. TBH, this doesn't seem like a fuck up, it just wasn't the result you were hoping for. Don't beat yourself up for it, but at the same time, as you slash Tijwags said, there's nothing wrong with feeling those feelings right now. I think a real foo would have been not to speak to her about it, and living with the sense of a miss. Better to try and get what you want, and miss some, than definitely miss and living with regrets. The real F you in my opinion would have been never expressing how you felt. Doesn't sound like you were pushy or overbearing, and you've accepted her response, or lack thereof. Don't beat yourself up too bad, the risks in life we never take are the ones that haunt us the most. I hope you keep that courage in future relationships and endeavors, don't let the results skew you too far the other way. Yeah. I don't see anything wrong with what you did. If anything, her ghosting was uncalled for. I mean, you did say more mature. She could have at least responded saying sorry but I don't feel the same way or something. Ghosting is not how you treat someone you've been friends slash in touch with for as long as it seems you two have been. Especially when you two used to be a thing and it sounds like it ended for a sensible, life reason and not because of some nastiness. Tifu by masturbating with sparkly rainbow slime, NSFW. Last night, when my family has gone to bed, I decided to have some me time, and beat my meat. It started out like normal, but then some rainbow slime I had caught my eye, I reached for it, anticipating the bliss to come. As it was resting on my balls, I realized something. It loves cloth and I don't shave my balls. I tried to pull it off. But it was stuck. Cheat 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 fuck shit cheat cheat shit. I finished jerking off into a sock, pulled off like 80% of the slime and decided to go to sleep and clean the rest in the morning. The slimy shit dries overnight. Sorry for yelling. Now here I am, in pain from pubes being pulled out of my balls, dreading cleaning up. I'm going to have to soon, fortunately, though, I don't have to go anywhere today, so that's A+. plus. Edit. Took a shower shampoo and scrubbing got it out, thanks for the suggestions. Incidentally, my electric razor is broken so shaving wasn't an option. TL, drive, I put sticky rainbow slime on my dick, and it is stuck to my pubes. Trim off your hair with an electric razor and use shampoo to get the rest off and rinse with cold or moderately cold water to rinse off. Thanks, we'll try. You can try to use oil, coconut oil or something of the kind, to help it get off. Thank you sir for the giggles. No problem, sir. At least your balls are fabulous now. The most fabulous balls. Just shave lol. Sorry for you bud. 
Tifu for signing up for Tinder and inadvertently swiping right on the girl my best friend is dating. Disclaimer, when I say Tifu I mean it, this happened today. I'm high AF to try and get over this day so forgive my format and grammar. Throw away BC I'm a late millennial and all my friends have fucking read it. So I've F been with my boyfriend for almost 2 years and it was obvious from the get go that we weren't extremely compatible in the whole libido department of the store, mine being higher than his. Nevertheless, we are compatible in every other way and when the deed is done, it's done better than your bank typing up the deed to your mortgage. Our communication is great, our personalities match, and he's very understanding and accommodating to my pansexuality. It's also important to note that this is only my second relationship and didn't get the chance to explore my sexuality. A few days ago my boyfriend and I were talking about things we wanted to do before we die and I said I wanted to sleep with a woman we've talked a few times about threesomes and even a gangbang so this information wasn't new for him. He told me that it was something he would be okay with. Gave complete consent. I repeat complete consent. I feel I have to elaborate because of negative attitudes towards non-monogamy. After talking at length and making sure we were both comfortable. I decided to make a Tinder profile. If you've used the digital penis and vagina photo album, then you know there's a neat little option where your profile will only be shown to people that you swipe right on. In other words, you get first pick of who even looks at your profile. I, being the technological genius that I am, clearly went to the settings and turned that setting on. You have no idea where this story is going, right? Fast forward a few hours. I've gotten a couple of matches and I decide to go ahead and turn off my account, they have the option to temporarily pull your profile from the pool of candidates, and focus on the people that I matched with. That's when I realized that the entire time, my account was on the wrong setting. I never shut off the feature where my profile is available for anyone to view. Cue instant panic. I swipe back over and manage to super like it's like liking a profile times 10 where you basically try to get someone's attention by giving them a theoretical lap dance my best friend slash housemate's girlfriend who has no idea about my sexuality and lifestyle. Time will tell if she tells him what she saw. Deleted my profile and now I'm terrified to reactivate it. Will my best friend make fun of me for the rest of my life? Will I readily avoid his girlfriend when she comes over tonight? Will I ever get high enough to forget this? Only time will tell friends. For now, I'll just die. TL, drive. Wanted to try fucking women through ethical non-monogamy, outed myself in the process. Why is your best friend's girlfriend even on Tinder? Wouldn't that also be a concern of yours? It's kind of a common joke on Tinder to swipe right on people you know, though. Just play it off as that. You're overthinking it. God damn, this made me laugh so hard. Thank you. No. Thank you for reveling in my embarrassment. I need another hit. This could potentially be perfect. No nope no way no. No. No.